Hello teachers and mentors. The objective of this video is to help review what we need to do when you have a prompt that, that students need unit test reviews or topic test reviews. As part of our professional learning network, I am sharing these videos with you so that we can all become a little bit more familiar with how this program works. Once you log on to Edgenuity, you will have a default page that will bring you directly up to this group of students that needs a review. You can also see this on the dashboard. And um, get my right school up here. You will see that these three students are the same three students that um, came up by default when we originally logged on. The gold um, exclamation marks usually mean they need a test review or a unit review. And then when you see red exclamation marks, those are typically students that need additional support, maybe another um, quiz, or they need something graded. So let's go back to what our default page looks like. And um, we are just going to take Fernando for our first example, and we're going to see if he is actually ready to take this unit test. So I can see that it shows he is in the blue with a gold outline and so that's where he's currently at. And if I was to go ahead and review it and say he's ready to go, I would come down here, complete review, and he'd be ready to start his test. But we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that he has done what he's supposed to do in this unit before we go ahead and let him take, take the test. So the, one of the first things I look at is their progress report. I see he's 8% done with an overall grade of 44%. The 44% concerns me a little bit. Um, this happens to be special ed students, so they're on a modified grading scale but um, we have to keep in mind the score is low. The next thing you want to do is go to View Courses, and he's taking this one class. I select the Arial button and go up here to Scores and Activity Review, and this is where I am reviewing before I let him go ahead and take that test. If I scroll down here, I can see all the activities that he has done in this unit so far. Um, I'm just going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, he did the warm-up. This does not count towards his grade, but it does show that he completed the assignment. The instruction does not count, but he did do this. The summary does not count towards his grade, but he did do this. Now, when you get to these yeses, obviously that means that that's um, counting toward their grade. Um, the assignment that he did, he had a 71% on. That, that's a great grade. We're, we're happy with that. Um, we look at the quiz. The quiz says he's at 50%. Um, and so because he's on a modified grading scale, that does mean that he was able to go ahead and move on to the unit test review. I go to the unit test review, and it says, okay, he actually got a zero on the unit test review, so that is a concern for me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, I'm going to click on this and it's going to kind of tell me what's going on here. It'll take me back to um, his grade book. And what I can do is, in the blue is where what we are currently reviewing. If I scroll down, I can see that he's only attempted this once. His score was zero. He spent three minutes and 36 seconds on it. And I want to know, well, what happened with this unit review? So I can go ahead and click View. And I can see that, well, we've got a problem. We missed every single question. I can click on the question, and it will give me the question, and it will give me the correct answer. This was what he answered. This is the correct answer. And you can go through, and you can see all of these. So probably the next thing what we're going to need to do is we're going to sit down and have a conference with the student and pull this up and show him exactly the areas that um, he missed. After, the, after you've conferenced with your student, you want to reassign this review. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on it, 
and you can reset the assignment. And I'm not going to do this because I don't want to mess this kid up while I'm doing using his front example. But we would just reset the assignment right here. Now let's say he went ahead, he did his, he took his review, he got a 70%, and now he would be ready for his test. What we would do is we come down here to unit test and complete review, and he would be ready for his unit test. Now, let's say our student took it again, and he only got a 25% on the test, uh, on the review. Okay, then we have to think, hmm, what's going on here with content? So what I typically do is go back up, and I see all the assignments that were part of this unit test. He actually only had one small unit to do for this. And what I am going to do is I'm going to start at the very beginning. I'm going to select warm up and I'm going to reset this entire unit for him to do again. Um, I want to make sure that he's taking notes. I want to make sure that he's using his headset and listening to the instruction. And then I'm going to have him actually take the quiz again too. At that point, um, we'll go back and we will take the unit test review again and we will come back down and um, attempt the unit test. The, the main objective here obviously is content. Now if you get a student that is scoring maybe 50% and they're not a special ed student and they, you've gone through all this review, then we can just come up here and um, we can go ahead and we can bypass it with the current grade. So if my student took, let's just go up here to quiz, and let's see, this, will sh this shows you that this particular student um, took this quiz this many times, and on his third attempt, 50% was the highest. And so what this teacher did was they went in and they passed with current grade, they inserted 50% was his highest grade for that, and then um, they moved on to the unit test review. This is active engagement with the students. We're wanting to make sure that we're constantly conferencing with the students. Some of your kids are going to just cruise right along, and others of them are going to need more support. So again, it's all about individualization. It's all about relationships with your student. It's all about um, promoting academic success and being there for your student. If you have any questions regarding how to review for a unit test, please let me know. You guys have my number, but I'll give it to you again, 669-3443, and I look forward to hearing from you. Please email me with any questions, and um, I hope to see you soon in your classes. Thanks for all the great work you're doing with our students.